Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. So it says that in the formation of molecule, only the outer shell electron takes part in the chemical reaction. As I told, the Lewis approach of chemical bonding, the way Lewis explains, the, the way the Lewis theory explains the chemical bonding is, it assumes that in the formation of chemical bond or chemical combination, only the outer cell electrons take part and they are called valence electron. The inner shell electron are well protected and they don't take part in the process. So we can ignore those inner shell electrons. And that's why if you see right, uh, lithium and sodium has the same uh, Lewis symbol, I mean same number of electrons the symbol because both has one outermost electron but the electronic configuration of lithium and sodium is different right so if you see the lithium is uh, atomic number is 3 atomic configuration is 2 1 sodium is uh, 11 it is 2 8 1 correct but both have same number of outermost electrons so the symbol looks similar for sodium and lithium because the Lewis approach is bothered only about the valence electrons the outer shell electrons so this guy Lewis was an American chemist who introduced a simple notation to represent the a valence electron atom and these notations are called Lewis symbol or Lewis dot structure. The way it works is you just write the uh, name of the uh, atom for example carbon and carbon has how many uh, what is the carbon atomic number 6 electronic conviction is 2 4 so the outermost shell has 4 electrons so you just write put four electrons here like this similarly for boron if you see so if you see boron boron has atomic number boron five so atomic configuration is two three outermost electron has three electrons so you write this boron and put three electrons like this you can put three electrons anywhere like this also you can put or you can put like this also doesn't matter just you have to put three electrons surrounding boron and that's how right correct so the way it works is you just write the name of the compound find the electronic configuration find the valence electrons and just write the uh, put the number of dots each dot represents one valence electron correct so the number of dots around the symbol represents the number of valence electron you can take more examples as a, for example aluminium if you take has atomic number 30 right the electronic conviction 283 right see you can write if you're confused you can write 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p this guy has the uh, outermost electron 3 right al aluminium and put 3 electrons 3 dots that's all is aluminium correct if you want oxygen so let's take oxygen oxygen atomic number is 6 1s2 2s2 2p sorry oxygen atomic number is 8 2p 4 the outermost electron is uh, valence cell is this number 2 it has 6 electrons so write O and put 6 electrons you can also write 6 electrons like this both are same actually right so the trick here is find the electronic configuration find the valence electron write the symbol of the atom and surround this with the number of valence electron each dot represents a valence there is a rule called octet rule, octet rule devised by Lewis. And according to this rule, he is telling that, he proposed that the atoms either by transfer of electron as I told in case of uh, uh, ionic bond or by sharing of electron in case of covalent bond, 
they either transfer electron or share share electron just to achieve this octet because octet is a stable configuration. This rule is called octet rule. Correct. As I have explained, for example, sodium chloride, sodium chloride, the Lewis dot structure is Na one dot. Why sodium has one electron in the outermost cell? Chlorine has seven, so it will be seven dots or seven cross. Doesn't matter. So sodium can easily lose one electron to get uh, stable. Chlorine really accepts one electron to get stable. So this becomes Na plus stable, Cl minus stable, and both are attracted by the electrostatic force. So this is NaCl. And thus, sodium and chlorine combines to form sodium chloride. This is the case of transfer of electron. For sharing of electron, example I gave was chlorine chlorine. So chlorine has this chlorine has let's suppose seven uh, electrons. This guy has also seven. I'll write in this form dot now. So nobody is willing to give because every both this chlorine wants to get electron. So they'll share this electron. They'll share this electron. This guy will assume that this has these eight electrons and this chlorine will assume that this guy has this electron. So this electron is shared, right? So both assume that they have got eight electrons and both are stable and they'll form Cl2. This is what octet rule says that. So, so let's study. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.